I'd like to know from you, what, what is the objective in Afghanistan? I'm not sure I know anymore. Yes, sir. There, in the initial, you were dead right. President Bush gave an absolutely militarily attainable mission in October of 2001. It was absolutely correct. It was, it was something we could do. We had the military capability to do, which was to defeat the Taliban and to degrade the al-Qaeda's ability to conduct operations against the United States. Those were absolutely accomplished 100 percent by about, you know, maybe as late as the, this, this next summer. So by 2002, then we should have returned because there was no military mission left to accomplish. We absolutely annihilated the Taliban. We didn't just defeat them. So at that time, there was no military foe left to to keep our troops there for. Many people often claim that, you know what, what, boy, when Bush went to Iraq, he took his eye off the ball and that's what caused the problem. No, there was no ball to keep your eye on for, for a, a number of years after that. We should have retired, but President Bush then and President Obama deepened later on, changed the mission to a, a nation building which cannot, cannot be accomplished with military forces. Hence the... the Self-licking ice cream cone metaphor. Yes, sir. Uh, there is, is, to answer the last part of your question, there is no strategy right now. None. There's no strategy that, it, okay, if you accomplish A, B, and C, the war will be over. Nothing like that exists. We're merely conducting operations with no objective. So if that's the case, Colonel, at what point do we say, okay, that, that's it, this war is over, it's time to go home? Or, or is this indeed uh, an indefinite conflict? Uh, uh, or in perpetuity. We should absolutely do it right now because every day that goes forth, you're going to have more men like those who, two who were murdered over the weekend for no good. Uh, everybody says they're heroes and all this stuff, but, sir, we have to be honest and say they lost their lives for nothing. They didn't defend American democracy. They didn't secure our, our, our safety. They were just killed because we won't shut the war down, and we just keep going. And, and that just grieves me more than I can even explain to you, sir.